Are we recording? Is this, is this are we going? We're recording already, brother. I'm in finally. Okay. okay. So do we do we wanna do it real fast, Daniel? Do you wanna like take the reins or what? You're gonna say like hey. Um sure. Oh, my job. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought that's kinda of what Sadie's done every week, bro. Are you trying to usurp her? <laughs> I, I you made the zoom. I'm just I'm... Welcome everyone to week four of Youth Ministry on Quarantine. Hi. So for the verse of the week this week, I actually have two verses, both from John chapter 16. I've been reading through John, and it's just been so encouraging to read through this, especially looking back at Easter and just the encouragement that that is, the dark time of those days when Jesus is in the tomb, and the incredible joy that comes after that once he's raised from the dead. And we remember that and are reassured by that even now. But these verses are the words from Jesus shortly before he's taken, tried, and eventually crucified. So the first verse is 1622. He says, So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. And that's just such a good reminder as we think about the Easter that we just celebrated. That it seems like we don't see Jesus now and in the same way the disciples didn't see Jesus at that time. Because they didn't think that he would possibly raise from the dead. But he has risen from the grave and he also is coming back to us. So be reminded of that. And he says there's a joy there that no one will be able to take away from you. That is a joy that we have that no circumstances, no events, no difficulties can take that away from us. And the next verse that really stuck out to me in John 16 is verse 33. And after all these things that Jesus has said, he says, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Tribulation there meaning just difficult times, all sorts of difficulties, tragedies, pain, sorrow, all of those things. That's going to happen in this world. We live in a fallen and broken world, and those things will be present. But he says, take heart, I have overcome the world. Just keeping that in mind, especially as we think back of Easter, how Jesus overcame the death on the cross. He overcame the grave. He overcame death itself so that we might be saved. Keeping that in mind, he has overcome the world. He's overcome all the pain, all the difficulty, all the confusion, all the uncertainty. He has overcome that. And he is the one who is in control and ultimately holds us in his mighty hands. All right. Love it or hate it this week. Um, Love John Krasinski's Some Good News YouTube videos. Do yourself a favor. Go watch them. They're so sweet. They're awesome. You know, I really love being able to just start your day, you know, drinking your coffee, watching the sun come up. It's like my favorite part of the day. Um, hate it this week. I'm really feeling for my seniors this week. Um, you know, there's just a lot of big things that go on the last couple months of your senior year, especially if you've been on sports teams and get to do all the kind of goodbye closure things with your grade, prom, all those different things. So I'm really hating that you guys are missing a lot of those events and thinking about you and praying for you. Um, so definitely hate not just kind of being out about, um, seeing Daniel and Sadie. I uh, really miss them, everyone else in the church. All right, everyone. Challenge of the week is a baking challenge. Okay, so I've been inspired, one, by Easter, two, by the show Nailed It. So I am not a baker, but I'm going to try and create something incredible. This cake. Focus. Step one, we have to gather all of our supplies. Best part.
So unfortunately, I ran out of blue food coloring. Blame the Easter egg challenge from last week. So now we're gonna try and assemble it. She has perfectly spaced cookie cutters. I'm gonna go really makeshift and try and use like some bowls and cups. We'll see. Okay, so our red and green split really well. These were a bit too warm still, so they kind of broke apart a little bit, but we'll just buttercream it and it'll be fine. Did you see that flip up action? Gets them all evenly dispersed across the pan. Perfect. There's one tea bag in there, so. So, you know, we've had some setbacks. We, I'll call them quarantine setbacks because just lack of supplies. Just had to use whatever was in my closet and make it happen. So we did not have enough sugar to make enough buttercream. So we could not ice the whole cake, leaving it with a unfinished look. Did not have chocolate to make the chocolate ganache. Um, and do the little drips down the side. Didn't have peeps or robin's egg to make it like very eastery and fun. So we really have the bare bones of the cake, but I'm excited to see what the checkered pattern looks like if it actually comes out because there wasn't enough buttercream to hold it all together, but we will see. We'll see. Hey y'all, it's like 6.45. It's a little early, but it's time for my favorite part of the day making breakfast. Bacon. This is probably the most essential part of my day, making coffee. Oh yeah. You know, some people have uh, a definitive opinion on this, but to me, um, you know, what makes a cup of coffee so good is uh, it's only as good as the mug that you are drinking out of. So, uh, yeah. I'm a big scrambled egg guy too. So there we go, that's my breakfast. Okay, this is the moment of truth. <laughs> the beautiful creation. The big question is, will it have a checkered pattern on the inside? And Austin's here as a taste tester. So risky, it's very fragile. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That's pretty impressive. Check that out. As ugly as it looks on the outside, the inside's pretty good. I think it's safe to say that I nailed it. So as you can see, there's a wide range of things you can do for the cooking baking challenge, but basically make anything, take a picture, send it to us, and you'll be entered to win for the if card Friday. Good luck and have fun. This is my credit. I'm in a spinny chair. Oh, I wish I had a spinny chair. Stay at home. Stay safe. Yeah, stay home. 
Love you all. Man, that's good content. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. Oh, that's good.